HQ, this is Al Heck, and I'm here with another quick tip using Cinema 4D into Game Engines, Unity, Unreal, etc, etc. And today I'm going to show you folders. How do you get folders in body paint? How do you separate things? Why would you want to do that? Of course, there's like skin, there's metal, there's leather, there's all these things that your character's going to wear, and sometimes you don't want it sitting in all one gigantic stack. So you want to separate it with masks and folders folders. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick in this little tip, so enjoy. We have this skull that we're going to start with that is available in our file base for download of all, in all your video game needs. And what I want to do today is I want to give this skull some gold teeth. Um, not all, I'm just going to do one, but I'm going to show you guys how the gold material can be set on its own folder structure so we don't actually affect any of this uh, skull stuff because, you know, we kind of like what we got going on right here. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find a gold medal. And I found one online, and here's the color, and we got our displacement, our metalness, our normals, and our roughness, right? So, I want this color. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this into my color channel. And right now, this is called color.jpg. So I need to select this in here, and I need to do a copy. And then I'm just going to close this particular texture out, and I'm going to go back to my color. And then I'm going to go select into my layers and hit paste. And that's going to drop my color texture inside of here. And uh, I believe this should be 2K. You can see the squares right there, so that looks good. But you see how it's like on everything right here. And uh, I don't really want that. So what I want to do is I'm going to create a mask real quick. And uh, let me find where this one little tooth is. Let's do this tooth and we'll do this tooth. And we'll do a U and a W so it selects those, correct? Oh, we're going to go to texture selection, create mask from selection. And that should create a quick mask right here for this particular tooth. And there's one more tooth somewhere around here. Oh, right up here at the top that you can see that's selected, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead mask on this. And you see how those two teeth are now masked. They're going to be gold. Now, I'm going to create a folder. Now, uh, where is the folder? I I'll tell you right now. It took me forever to find it. It's right here. It's called New Layer Set. It looks like a layer, but it's a folder. So that makes a lot of sense. If you click on this, it shows up as a folder icon, but it looks like a layer. Boy, that could be really confusing at times. It would be nice if we fixed that. So if we're going to do this, let's go ahead and take our layer and drop it under the layer set. Now, anything in this layer does not affect the rest of this stuff. We can even take this mask and drop it up here. So now we can adjust the individual values inside of, let's say, this uh, uh, this particular uh, color channel. So I'm going to go to like our hue saturation, and you know I can bump up my saturation. I can change my hue to a pink and hit OK. And you notice now it only affects the things inside of this particular layer set, and I could turn this off and then go from there. And if, let's say, I wanted to undo this, but I wanted to, in my reflection channel, I wanted to add um, this tooth, but only reflect onto that particular tooth itself. Here's how I would do this. I can go to my selection mask. I can right click. I can do a, let me go to my color, select on this mat, copy this, and then I can go over to my reflection and then do a quick paste, and it should be just the white values right there. And you can see I copied the mask. Then I can go create a new folder, drop this as a mask on that new folder, and then I can go to my material, which had a metalness material right here, and I can drop this into here. I'm going to do a copy. I'm just going to close this texture out now. And then in my reflection channel, I'm going to hit paste. And I'm going to drop that into here. So now my teeth only carry this mask. And if I want to adjust now, I can. 
So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you want to learn anything else game oriented, if you want to learn more tutorials, you want to learn more about the plugins, the file base, the assets that meet the people who are building video games today, go on to GameDevHQ.com right now and check us out. I am Al Heck and I'm out of here. Have a great night, folks, and I will catch you later.